Uh, just let's, let's start with coming back home and how proud you are to bring this team back home after that road trip that you had and, and, and how much you want to keep it going. Well, yeah, you, you don't sit, you can't sit and pat yourself on the back. It's, it, this is a very unforgiving league and, and we know that, uh, to go out when four or five, we know what a tall task that would have been. Um, you know, I'm sure we would have taken anything above 500 is, is a really good road trip when you pack five games in 11 days. So to go four and one, um, was, a uh, uh, and again, with some key guys out too, you know, if people don't talk about Robinson and Texie and these guys and Jake Bean and guys that play a lot of minutes for us that weren't on that trip for us. So guys had to step up and we found ways to, uh, to, to win, you know, starting with a big game in Washington and, and coming off a break where he had one practice. That's it, you know, so uh, you put all that together. It's great. Um, you know, I told the guys feel good about themselves, but it, that's over with. It's done and we got a game here tonight against Buffalo. Fred, uh, Patrick Line is obviously having a heck of a streak right now, and, and the narrative is out there. As Line A goes, so go the Blue Jackets. Is that fair? Is that a fair representation right now, do you think? Well, he's part of it, yeah. I mean, you know, any time a guy gets 16 points in eight games, it's, that's, that's a big big step for offensively. It, it certainly helps you, um, you know, and, and he's got 10 goals. So uh, he, he's part of, of – the 16 skaters out there and our goalies for that game. And, and, uh, but you know, when Patty gets hot or I, I say any really goal scorer, when they get hot like that, it's infectious. It bleeds through your lineup. It, it helps them. You, you know, it's something exciting to watch. It's fun. You feel like when those guys are out there, every time they shoot the puck, they can score. Um, and you need to score goals in this league. You can see the production's up with everybody. So you have to score goals to win games. And, uh, I feel like it's bled through our lineup a little bit and, and helped our, our energy level and, and our confidence. Yeah, that's, that's where I'm going next is Oliver Bjorkstrand seems to have been one of those guys. Big goal for you the other night in Chicago. Another guy who can get streaky. You know, we've seen it here for, for several years. When he gets hot, he can, he can run with it for a long time. So, you know, if, it, if the stars align, uh, no pun intended there, and, and these guys start, all start scoring at the same time, you know, you, you become balanced and dangerous, and that's what we need to get to is, is getting that production from everybody. Uh, just one more for me, and that's lineup. Any lineup changes other than Danforth, yes? Yeah, Danforth in, uh, obviously. And then uh, is going to be starting tonight, and we'll see on our backup. We're not sure yet. Yeah, so Elvis left practice early yesterday. Is there anything going on there? Just day-to-day -day right now, and, and we'll see what uh, my trainers have to tell me here this afternoon. Okay, we'll go to Zoom. Go ahead, Jess Favota. Yes, uh, thanks, Lars. Uh, you just kind of said there you have to score goals to win games now. Uh, scoring is kind of up. Line A kind of said after the 7-4 uh, game the other night that uh, he sure wasn't a coach's dream, but uh, you guys kind of stuck with it and got the win. You've had some of those high-scoring games this year. Um, obviously, you're never trying to give up goals, but is that something that kind of maybe comes more with the territory these days, the scoring goes up, that you have to win some of those uh, back-and-forth contests a little bit? Now, if you look around the league, there's uh, – I don't know what the numbers are, but it seems like on any given night there's six and seven goals. I saw two games last night with that, that amount, right? I mean, I think Anaheim put up seven. Someone else put up six, I saw. So it's, you know, I think it was St. Louis. Um, so you look at these these games and um, at the end of the day, you want to be a good defending team. I think that's important. Uh, and and you, you, there's a real focus on that even for our group now just to get better in those areas. But, you know, confident teams, they, they can score their way out of some trouble at times. And I think in this league, it's kind of tilting that way for now, regular season. And we all know playoffs can change. Uh, that narrative because the teams are better and, and there's a lot tighter checking. But you you have to find ways to win differently. And um, you look at that, that game in Chicago, it's a tough game for us uh, with the, between the travel, day before, end of a road trip. You know, everybody's kind of itching to get home after 10, 11 days on the road. So to to keep your focus in that game. And, and I loved our start. I thought our energy was really good. And, and we got the lead. I know it, we gave it up quickly, but it gave you – an opportunity to make some mistakes, which we did. And, and, and now it's 2-2 instead of down 2 nothing. So we were able to respond each time. They, they got close, and that was huge. And, and just to stick with it and get that win was, was big for our group. Awesome. Thank you. Anything else? Who's going to back up Arube? We're not sure yet. All right. All right. This upper and lower, you said? Lower. Yep.